So welcome, I'm uh, Philippe Coupé from uh, Brussels Airlines. Uh, we're preparing a flight today on course to uh, Banjul, Conakry. Co-pilot today is Mr. Yuan de Vin. Before we take off, the first thing we have to do, of course, is an external check of the aircraft. So if you'll just follow me, I'll show you what, everything I'm looking for around the aircraft. And the last little door that we see all the way at the end is for the fuel. It's just the exhaust in case we have an overflow of fuel. It just goes out through that door. Make sure it's clean. Means the aircraft didn't have any trouble. Checking the fire switches on both sides. That's engine one. That's engine two. Squibs, fire lights. Rev the extension of the gears. Check the locked position. Gears down. We have the three greens. So for the briefing, I fly the 330. Take off with the uh, packs off. Engine and TIs off. It's a takeoff runway 25 right, full runway length, config 2, flex of 41, and no weather radar required for departure. In case of any problem before we won, I call stop or go and I take stop actions. You monitor reverse green and decel. In case of a problem after V1, I fly, you clear the normal on my command. Engine field we proceed straight ahead, 1700 feet, clean up, acceleration. Then we can climb to 3,000 feet on course uh, to uh, Bruno. Full left. Full right. Armor contact, armor contact tower 1200. P-Line 223, wind calm, runway 255, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, uh, B-Line 223. V1, rotate. The turns you saw we made, actually, and the ones you see on the charts, made a first turn at 700 feet, which was exactly above the runway, and we turned to reach this point, which is exactly above the ring that goes around Brussels. That way, the noise that we have above Brussels is kept over the ring, where the most of the traffic jam is going on. And this is why we made some turns, tried to stay above the ring, going outbound and intercepting inbound to the Chievre VOR. Paris, bonjour, B-Line uh, 223, climbing flight level 240 out of uh, 192. B-Line 223, bonjour, climb flight level 260. Climb flight level 260, B-Line 223. Our goal is always to get them out with a smile and on the African sector it's always a pleasure to do so because of the humor. Africa is, is still big on, on uh, finding solutions for uh, with humor actually makes life much easier and of course you have more time to uh, spoil everybody and the bigger the atmosphere the better the atmosphere amongst the crew uh, the more you see the passengers smile as well at 1441. Next report, Bimok. Conakry, Conakry, B-Line 223, good evening. So we're standing by to get the latest weather from Conakry. We're trying to call them, but we have no answer for the moment. We're expecting at this time of the day, with the winds usually coming from the sea, we're expecting to have an approach on runway 24. So actually, we'll be just coming overhead to Konakshi. And from there on, we will be proceeding for a visual circuit. So just proceeding into downwind and downwind back for an approach on runway 24.
the landing in uh, Conakry, we have uh, no instrument approach on the runway 24. It's a visual one. And there's no standard lighting as well. What we can expect on landing on 24, we have a small stopway. We will be landing and proceeding all the way to the exit on the right hand side, straight into the apron. This taxiway is mostly not used because it's never cleaned and not very comfortable for the passengers. I'm going to be line uh, 223 is now maintaining uh, 2,000 feet, so almost over at the airport. Roger, report position left allowing runway too far. Lobson, speed managed. Runways. Mm. Small parking for a big bird. It's been a nice flight. As you see, weather was uh, quite hazy today. Otherwise, it's standard African operations. Nice, warm and humid weather. So for the ones that would like to visit Manjul, it's the place to be.